intradimensional extraterrestrial bipedal bird aliens called blue avians. He said that he believed a group of extraterrestrial bird aliens were helping QAnon. The idea that that is an actual idea that some of these followers believe is just, I, I do not understand. Just I had several other insiders who were telling me about this, but nobody wanted to come forward. Nobody wanted to go on the record. Corey comes out and didn't want to go on the record either, but through a series of unfortunate events, I got he, uh, he got, got nailed outed. and he got into it. So I was going to say, Corey, because, you know, you've seen stuff that most people, I would say almost all people haven't seen. Bases on other planets, portal travel, inside spacecrafts, freaking out aliens. But you you don't strike me as the type of guy that would be like, oh, you know what? Pick me to tell the world this crazy shit. Like, I'll do it. In a June 24 appearance on Coast to Coast Radio, Davis said, quote, that two or three of these papers had been leaked onto the internet by someone on the Beltway. Davis was saying that someone on the Beltway was a good source for the two documents. This is an astounding admission. For the first time since his emergence in late 2014, a leading scientist was on the public record in effectively stating that Good was working with a Washington insider to reveal significant details of advanced space technologies being studied by the DIA. Veteran FOIA and UFO investigator John Greenwald confirmed that the two documents' initial public release occurred through Good. I saw these documents back in late December and early January, but dismissed them as they are largely sourced, credited to Corey Good. E. These documents do not appear that they were released under any official channels. So the biggest question is, how did Corey get them? They knew that at some point there was going to be a big geological, solar, whatever type of event, and that they most likely would go underground, wait out civilization falling, and then come back. Us knowing aliens, or they could care less. They're just trying to appease us until their scenario plays out. We now are authorized also to say, Corey Good has told me, that we now can tell you that I did meet in person with my wife Elizabeth, three different people, who are very high level alliance people. We know this. We There was a binder that had all of their different intelligence cert certificates, classifications, it was huge. There were two whole boxes full of medallions and medals and coins that they get from all these different things. We saw more than enough proof. There are hundreds of thousands of people involved in this alliance. They are fighting and dying for you. Yeah, we talk about the collective, but you got to also understand the collective is a hodgepodge. There are ET groups that have been coming here for millennia and basically dropping off prisoners and undesirables from their cultures, you know, onto our planet and causing and then sending them into our reincarnation cycle. So we have ET groups from thousands of different planets and cultures who are here and going through incarnations confused as hell. But I was on a planet and everything was going really well, I thought. And then all of a sudden I'm born here and I have five fingers now. And what the hell, you know, and you got to figure everything out. And man, this place sucks. Don't, don't count on people coming to rapture you off the planet. That's not going to happen. You came here to have this experience. It sucks and I know you want out of it, but <laughs> you're here. <laughs> and you're here for the whole thing. Tough shit. <laughs>